So I'm here at the Matrox stand here at NAB 2014. This is the second of three videos that we're doing here. I've got Dan Maloney with me. Hi, Dan. Uh, and now in this one, we're going to concentrate on something that's close to my heart as an owner of one of these as well, is the Matrox VS4. Uh, but for those who don't know, tell us a bit about that. Sure. So Matrox VS4 is a four-channel input card, uh, HDSDI input card. And we've, uh, we created it in its first incarnation about uh, just over a year ago for use with Telestream's Wirecast product, so used for streaming production applications. We bring four camera inputs into the Telestream environment, or the Wirecast environment. What we added at that time was also the ability to ISO record those four channels. So you ISO record four channels while simultaneously doing a live production. Many of our customers said, you know, this ISO recording is great. I want to use it not only in uh, in production or in streaming production, what if I'm not in any type of live environment? I still want access to that. And we felt that, um, you know, going through Wirecast to get access to that is not, was not the most elegant way of, of exposing that functionality. So we created the VS4 recorder. So for the same uh, re same way you would use the same card, this application now would be launched and you get a very elegant uh, monitoring solution to begin with. So four channels, this is 1080i footage coming into the card um, that, uh, and, and now you're able to get your VU meters and some labeling and there is two ways, two modes of operation for the device. You can work in what I'd call independent channel mode, which will, by unlinking the inputs, which allow us to record independently, just at the touch of a button, any of the, uh, any of the feeds. Now, however, the one of the most interesting features is that because we have the, we have the same ability with Telestream is to record simultaneously in synchronize, synchronize those four channels. So by linking the four inputs, what we now have is a session time code that can be embedded as metadata with all the files that you're recording. So when in a multicam environment, so you take your, 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 your recordings and you want to bring them into Adobe Premiere, we save this format as XMP metadata, which is the Adobe uh, format, you can bring those files into Adobe now and easily do a multicam shoot, four channels of playback where you can switch easily between each camera in a synchronized fashion. Now, there's an additional feature we've added with VS4 Recorder with the launch of this product, is what we call VS4 Control. Four channels is nice, but there are some multicam shoots where four is not enough. Being able to put more than four channels in a single computer is demanding on the CPU, on the, on the whole computer. So we instead said, how about uh, creating a technology that allows multiple VS4 systems to be linked and synchronized? So we created a very uh, elegant uh, IP-based uh, module. It's just a piece of software that runs over, a, over a, uh, a standard network environment where you designate a master VS4 system and multiple slave devices. And now, in that environment, this time code information is both shared across all the VS4 systems, and the record button will activate all of the devices simultaneously. So you can have 16 channels of simultaneous record. They'll all be started and stopped at the same frame, and they would all have embedded XMP data with that same time code. Again, very elegant for multi-camera productions. Um, the codecs that we support are uh, the MPEG-2 iframe AVIs, which are good for PC-based editing, DVC Pro HD MOVs, which is useful for um, Mac-based editing, and now an H.264 codec that we're introducing, uh, which, allow, which is, opens up uh, markets outside of what we'd call traditional uh, production. You can go into archival applications, or another place, and a very interesting place we're working at is what we call the observational and training facility, so where you've got uh, environments set up where multiple cameras are are observing an area for training purposes um, so they can be you know 15 20 you know as many as 50 cameras that may be observing an area and all those cameras have to be recorded simultaneously so that the trainers can go back and review the and be able to go back and review the material easily and ma made up all the time codes without having to either put obtrusive uh, clappers or in the material or um, or a variety of other techniques they're trying. So we are having some great success with this application in a variety of fields, and uh, I, th I think we did a, a really great job with its implementation. I'd like to mention one other very interesting uh, uh, feature that uh, should not be overlooked. Yeah. With the upcoming features coming up in May, there will be addition of a new streaming production partner, uh, a company called 
Studio Coast, which makes an application called vMix HD. So vMix HD will operate the very same way as uh, the VS4 recorder. We'll just do a quick, a quick uh, launch of vMix here. These gentlemen are, again, are, they're in NAB right now, both Telestream located right beside us, and uh, Studio Coast and their vMix software located in uh, the Central Hall are showcasing the VS4 in their turnkey systems. Uh, very uh, uh, interesting partner to be working with. They're, part, they're out of Australia. They have a good install base out in Europe. So we, um, we got requests to support this software and you know the same way we do with our NLE software, we want to be able to offer our hardware and our interesting ISO capture you know, feature not only uh, uh, one partner but to uh, the other software partners out there that might, uh, might be able to take advantage of our, of our technology. So vMix HD also available in the May time frame. Brilliant, Dan, sounds amazing. Um, so if people want to get hold of this software, is it available now? The VS4 recorder is available as of today. The uh, H.264 and VS4 control are the new features that have been adding to VS4 recorder, um, which will be available in the next, in, in May timeframe. Dan, that's great. Now, if people want to find out more information about VS4, what's the website they can go to? www.matrox.com. Dan, thank you very much. If you want to find out more information about the VS4 and the obviously the uh, VMIX HD, Telestream Wireclass integration, uh, you'll find it, of course, on their website. The link is on screen now. Everything else we've been doing here at NAB 2014 is, of course, on our website, broadcastshow.com. Yeah, everyone's been just like, go on, hands on, go get the cameras out there, it's fantastic, they're all really open, let you just touch everything and get to use it and experience it for yourself.